In the last video related to Alexa, we showed you how to create an Alexa-like application that was more of a standalone code. In today's video, we shall be creating a web application out of it by the help of Flask. In case you are not aware of how Flask works, please go back to my channel or else click the suggested link showing at the right top of the video. Let's get started, guys. This is Satyajit Patnaik and welcome to my channel. As I already told that today's video is going to be the next video of the first part. In the first part, we talked about how to create an Alexa-like application in just 30 minutes. And today's video is taking the same piece of code to the next level by the help of Flask APIs, we'll be trying to create a web application and I'll be explaining you how to do that. And of course you can play around with the code. Code will be available to you guys openly and uh, you are open for a collaboration with me in case you want to continue working with me in case you want to do it for your own project own college project or just for fun you can take the piece of code and do it i'll just give you a brief background about the uh, previous video in case you haven't watched it i'm telling you again and again just go back and watch it so that you get the understanding of the piece of code but i'll just give you a brief overview of the code so we had created an application like Alexa in the last video. We used some libraries called as PYTTSX, Python uh, text-to-speech and P PyWatKit, DateTime. So DateTime is nothing but uh, when I'm talking about, like tell me the current date, it, it will take the current date time, that's it. Import Wikipedia in case you want to know about who is this, who is that, who is Narendra Modi, who is Sachin Tendulkar, we will be using the Wikipedia library to get information about them. PyJokes is nothing but it will crack you a joke in case you tell Alexa, tell me a joke, it will tell you some random jokes. And these are some uh, libraries which we'll be using. So we had a listener sr.recognizer you can see we have initiated the engine here pyttsx.init i'm getting the properties called as voices i'm passing the voices one dot id as the set property which is nothing but one means for female and zero means for male then i have created a uh, method called as engine talk where i am asking the engine to say dot say is nothing but when you, when you pass some text to this particular method, then it will say you something. The Alexa application will say you something. And then run and wait because it will be a recurring connection, right? You have to tell what is the time. And then once Alexa returns you something, the time is 11.45 AM. And then you have to tell the next command, right? So that was the reason why I have used run and wait. Here I have defined the weather method. I already told you in the last class itself, in the last video itself that weather API is not free. So I have taken a free package, free basic plan. That's the reason I have, uh, I know this API key. So for you, in case you are trying it out, of course, when I share the code, I will not share the API key because this is specific to me and I'm allowed some 200 to 300 calls. So API keys can be taken from api.openweathermap. Just go to that website. I'll just show you the website again. .org is and you have to take the basic plans. Basic plan is free, so you can take it. So free plan, I think 60 calls per minute, which is more than enough if you are working on a project. But yeah, in case you want to take this piece of code to the next level, you have to take the packages. So I'm not doing a promotion for that. Everything can be done free of cost. So just take it and enjoy. So this is the method where I'm calling the weather. So if I ask what is the weather of Hong Kong or Mumbai, it will tell me the output. Okay, and then I have defined a method called as user commands. So where I'm taking my microphone as an input source and then I'm listening the command and then I'm, 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 I have a clause called as if Alexa in command. So if I'm telling Alexa, tell me the time, then only it will respond. If I just tell, hey, tell me the time. So it will not, it will not be responding me. So that's the main uh, work of this piece of code. And then I have my main function, my run Alexa method, where I have 
I'm, I'm just calling the user commands. So whenever there is an input from microphone, it will return me the command. And from that command, I have various if else clauses, like if play, like Alexa, play me a song. So it will, if, if it identifies a word called play in the command, then it will play some music, play on YouTube. If it identifies the word time, it will tell you the current time. It, if it identifies who is, it will tell you who is actually Narendra Modi or Sachin Tendulkar. If it understands there is a keyword called as joke, it will tell you a joke, by jokes dot get joke. And something like that we have created. So let's get, get back to the Flask application. In case you are not aware of Flask, I am repeatedly telling because for this particular piece of code, I'm not going to explain Flask from scratch. In case you are new to Flask, you can easily go back to the uh, one of my videos. I'll share the link in the description and also you can see the suggested link. You can um, you can easily go through them. Flask is nothing but it's a it's a application. We have to convert our Python codes to some RESTful APIs. That's where we can expose the APIs so that UI can consume it. Okay, that's the main idea of Flask. We have to convert our standalone code, which we are running on our system to a Flask API. Okay, so almost same piece of code. I'll just show you again, everything is same. I have just restructured the code. Here I am defining the Flask application. I'm, I'm initiating the Flask. Here I have defined a method called as engine talk. If you go back to this piece of code, you can see engine, everything I have just done it inside this engine talk because uh, when I was using these three piece of commands outside this method, uh, it was just gen generating me one instance. So that's the reason I had to do it like this. So engine talk, I'm, so every time engine talk is called, our PYTTSX is initiated and then it is closed. Okay, and then I have the user commands. Everything is same. I have the weather API. So here I have done a minor change in the previous video. You can see the weather API was returning me a uh, string of current temperature. So it was returning me in Kelvin cell in Kelvin scale. So I have just converted the scale from Kelvin to uh, Celsius. So right now it will tell me in Celsius. So earlier, if it was telling me like 290 Kelvin, it will tell me now 18 degrees Celsius, something like that. And then I have my run Alexa here. I have done some minor changes. So in the previous, uh, in the previous method, you can see there is one play button, like one play command. So I have just done some minor changes, guys. So if, if you hear Alex, uh, if Alexa hears you that, hey, Alexa, play me a song or play a song. That means you're asking Alexa to play some random song. So you can, so currently I have just hard coded it as Arijit Singh and I'm just playing some random Arijit Singh songs on YouTube, of course. And in case you are stating that, hey, can you play City Slums? Can you play uh, uh, LinkedIn Park. So based on that, it will take that command and it will play some LinkedIn Park songs or some Arijit songs. So based on your command. And everything else is almost same. One more thing is in the weather API, in the weather clause, you can take the city as an input. Let's say, uh, let's say I'm telling Alexa, hey Alexa, can you tell me what's the weather? So Alexa will tell if you just uncomment it, uncomment it, Alexa will tell you, please tell me the name of the city. Then again, you have to call your user commands and then say Mumbai. Then Alexa takes that Mumbai as a keyword and then you can, so this is nothing but you have to call your city equals to your user command. Okay, so I have just hard coded it as Hong Kong. But yeah, as I told you, this is not the final piece of code but at least this piece of code will help us to get through, get our first Python application based on Alexa. So right now it's hard coded. So anything I tell about weather, it will tell me the weather of Hong Kong. And then if I, if, if I tell stop, it will tell me goodbye. If I tell some something which is not in this else if blocks, it will tell me that I didn't hear properly. So I have the print statements everywhere so that once you start your Flask application in a debug mode, you see that what's basically been printed. 
so you can interpret if it is correct or not so in flask basically we have some route functions flask apis can be relatable you can if you know about http methods is very re relatable we also have some uh, you know sort uh, some similar concepts in flask apis as well when we define our methods we have to define which type of method is it which type of http method it will be so if you don't define anything it will be a basic get method but here you can see i have defined a post method so it, it can be a post it can be a get method okay so i have a hello function so slash means wherever your application is hosted let's say your application is hosted in local host 5000 so if you type this or if you don't type it will be redirected to this particular method okay so it it will render a template and you can also define like this let's say uh, submit or some other some other pages so this is nothing but paging right so in case you have more pages you can just define your methods and do it accordingly so return render template this is nothing but the this is how the flask application has been created whenever you call this method called as render template it will look for a html file inside the templates folder so you have to define the name of the file now what is this file this is a html file if i just open it this is an html file i can just simply open it and show you how it looks like so this is how my html file looks like i have a button here tap to speak and this is a background image i mean it's just a random image which i have created and you can see the background image is this one i have uploaded it all already so this is the background image and on top of it i have just created a button here okay if you look at here and here the only difference is i have a button and a text called as tap to speak so wherever it is mentioned you can see it is mentioned over here tap to speak and i have defined a button which type of button you can see it's a microphone button okay the class is microphone and the type is button so in case we run this application it will open uh, it will tell me that the application is hosted in this location and we have to open that particular location and we have to see if the application is live or not so let's try to create this application let's try to run this you can run it here directly i prefer running it on anaconda prompt okay so anaconda prompt is open i'll just have to go to this location so uh, one more thing is that you can run this application with debug mode as on or off so first of all i'll show you how to run it in off mode off mode is something like if you if you face some issues you will not be able to identify it you will not be able to debug it so i'll just show you how it works alexa test py you can see debug mode is off but it is running on this instance if i just open this file i mean if i just open this link i just close it you can see the link is open now we will try to close it we'll try to run it on a debug mode as on so there are two ways to turn on debug you can easily write debug equals to true or else you can also set flask debug equals to one okay you can do that so let me run the command either of them you don't have to do both of them either of them so let's try to call our application right now and see how our application behaves so obviously as i am as i already told you again and again i'm telling you it's not the final piece of code it is just a prototype which i have created and obviously taking references from other videos as well but uh, yeah i mean our next target is going to make it a very good application we have to i mean it we have to make such an application that alexa will be able to understand and interpret everything there are also some chit chat libraries where you can also feed in here in your run alexa chit chat is nothing but if you are asking some random questions to alexa like 
I, I know many people ask that to Alexa, hey Alexa, can you tell me this? Can you tell me that? Alexa, I love you. Alexa, do this, do that. So all these chit chat libraries can also be fed, uh, fed in this particular model so that Alexa can handle it automatically. So yeah, I mean, definitely we can take it to the next level. So let me start and I will just keep it open. Obviously the site cannot be reached. So I'll just turn it on and let's see. So Alexa is turned on. I mean, you can see everything is up. Voice assistant, everything. And here I will run my piece of code and we'll see what's getting printed here. <clears throat> Alexa, what is the time? Current time is 12 colon 20 PM. Alexa, tell me a joke. Why did the QA cross the road? To ruin everyone's day. Alexa, play a song. Playing some music. Hello and welcome. My name is Professor David Costa, and I'm here today to introduce the University of Salford Online Master Program. So as you can see, I mean, uh, there is some problem over here. Somehow it failed, but I mean, till, till that particular time, till it opened on YouTube, it was working fine. Let me do it again, not pretty sure. Yeah, I mean, this application needs some attention. We have to fix these issues one by one. Let's see, let's try to speak again. Alexa, what is the time? Current time is 12 colon 21 p.m. Alexa, what is the weather right now? The temperature in Hong Kong is 19 degrees Celsius. Alexa, play a song. Playing some music. Alexa, tell me a joke. There are two types of people, those who can extrapolate from incomplete data sets. Okay, I mean, it's it's actually working, but yeah, I mean, sometimes it fails with some issues. We have to, we have to see that. But yeah, you can see that everything is working fine right now. And uh, definitely I'll make this code publicly available so that you can go ahead, download it and play around with it. I hope you enjoyed the session. Uh, in case you haven't, I mean, uh, please feel free to contact me in case you want some uh, new type of videos and new type of suggestions. In case you want some live sessions, anything, just comment out in the section below and I will get back to you. In case you need some personal guidance or personal assistant as well, I already have shared my LinkedIn profile with you guys so that you can ping me and you can ask me any kind of doubts. So thank you guys. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to press the bell icon if you want to get notified on my future videos as well. Thank you. So I'll be sharing the code within a couple of days. Uh, uh, the, the code will be available in the description below. Thank you.